Is this what St. Rose of Lima looked like? The face of the first saint of the new world, maybe better known than ever. Thanks to a team of scientists that has analyzed the skull of St. Rose of Lima. Scientists from the University of St. Martin de Porres in Peru and the Brazilian Anthropological and Dental Legal Forensics team reconstructed her face and the faces of two other saints who lived more than 300 years ago. The Dominicans had preserved the skulls of St. Rose of Lima, St. Martin de Porres, and St. John Marcius in St. Dominic Church, located in the historic center of the Peruvian capital of Lima. Under the care of Dominican friars and with strict security measures, the skulls were temporarily transferred to a clinic in Lima. There, researchers took computerized to tomography images. This is the process used in diagnostic medicine using CT or ultrasound scans. St. Rose of Lima's face was the first to be revealed. According to the news site Peru Catolico, the researchers said the reconstruction shows she was a pretty woman with soft features and a well-distributed face. Unlike her classical portrayals, the reconstruction indicates her eyes were large. St. Rose was born in Lima in 1586. At a very young age, she chose to consecrate her life to God. She practiced very intense prayer and penance each day. Sometimes she deprived herself of food and sleep. She joined the Third Order of St. Dominic. After three years of illness, she died at the age of 31 in 1617. Her feast day is celebrated on August 23rd in many parts of the world, while in Peru and several places it is observed on August 30th. Her reconstructed image was unveiled at St. Rose Parish on the Brazilian island of Guajarua on August 23rd. This coming November, the research team will present the conclusion of their work in Peru. They will unveil the bust of St. Rose and those of the two other saints.